If you always wanted to use simple USB PD charger to charge your electric scooter like Xiaomi E365, e-bike like Fido or other electric wheels under 50 volts, then today I've got something special. My newest PD adapter version 2. Version 1 was not bad, but version 2 looks quite good, you have to admit. We've got two LEDs which showing the input and output voltage, we've got nice fan, awesome case. So. Let me show you how it's working. On the input you have to connect some input voltage, like you can use PD charger, which can provide, as you can see, even 12 volts, 3.25 amps, which is around 65 watts. As a comparison, Xiaomi charger stock one in real world is around 68 watts, so this thing is as powerful like Xiaomi charger. Also, as a power source, you can use your car because lighter got 12 volts and it will still work because inside we've got step up converter which converts low voltage to higher voltage if you would like to know how to make that kind of thing then you can check the description there's link to my website when i show it step by step how to make that kind of beauty but for now let me show you how it's working so you need to build that kind of beast then you need that kind of thing this is pd trigger so it tricks this pd charger to all to work at the highest power so just connect it to the input and now we've got usb input in our adapter of course i recommend to use only high quality pd chargers i'm using xiaomi this one is a beast compared to price 25 dollars now it's working for a couple months i'm mostly using it on full power for a couple hours and it's still working perfectly fine. Sometimes it's getting stupid hot, but as you can see, it's still shiny, it's still white. Some cheap chargers are getting brown, but this thing is really high quality. This one is 65 watts, but also you can find 100 watts PD chargers and it will be not bigger than this thing. And of course, my PD adapter will work with 100 watt charger. But for now, let's connect this to home power socket. A moment of truth, will it work? Let's connect the USB and it's working. As you can see on the input we've got 12 volts and on the output I've got 41 volts. The best thing is that in user step up converter we can set what amperage and what voltage you would like to have on the output. Now let's connect my power meter on the output so we will see what is the output voltage and power and we've got 40 volts, 40.2 volts. Here you can see Xiaomi M365 Pro battery with XT30 power output. So let's connect my charger. Will it work? And no magic smoke. And it's working. It's charging my battery with 1.76 amps, which is around 65 watts. Actually, 67 watts so pretty nice score isn't it so as you can see it's working perfectly fine now what is funny is that when you just disconnect power input and you will just leave it output vo voltage so if you will connect some battery to the output then you can see what is the voltage of the battery we had some small spark no surprise i don't recommend to do it but it's just proving that it's working of course you can create any kind of adapter you would like to use because over here we've got some xt 30 connectors and here is my adapter for something like boeda es18 so yeah just connect over here and you can charge it but like i said maximum output voltage is 50 volts so this one could be good for some kind of fido e-bikes with 10s battery for xiaomi m365 because this thing is quite small and you can use just simple usb pd charger to charge your notebook smartphone so you don't have to carry like many different chargers you just need one charger to charge everything so that's why i think this one could be quite useful size comparison here is stock xiaomi pro charger and do i have to say something more you can see that my charger not only looks better but also is way smaller so i am sure that you are curious what is inside so let's open this beast 
Gold screws always look good, are they? Dun, 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 dun. And inside we've got small cable jungle, but no worries, just check my instruction how to make that kind of adapter. Inside we've got step up converter, use AMS connectors because I prepared this shell to just be plug and play for those connectors, so just push it and it's done. And let me also show you how it looks under this step up converter because there we got some nice air vents, air channels. As you see I use those super tiny M2 screws, thanks to them there will be smaller chance that we will have some short circuit because as you can see we've got really small space between the wires and the screw and only those are fitting over here. Jesus. And there we go, as you can see under the step up converter we've got this nice aluminium plate and yeah i only recommend this step up because this aluminium plate is like must have in this case because it will really help to speed out the heat and there is really small chance that all this thing will go boom due to overheating and here you can see my shell so i did that kind of air vents which you can see over here the best thing is that this project is super easy to print i prepared to don't use any kind of supports because supports are hard to remove and usually they make project looks ugly so if you would like to print this thing just check my patreon there are files and just print it without any supports and it will look decent like this one if you don't have printer then you can pm me i can print it for you in any color you like now quite an important tip how to prepare adapter for the first charge as we know xiaomi m365 can be charged with maximally 42 volts we can find this value on the power sapi so 42 volts 1.7 amps so to prepare this adapter to be at that voltage at first we have to connect it to power supply in my case to usb port so let's connect it and it's working great now let's connect something which will help us to measure voltage output i will use my power meter so now it's showing 40.2 volts we can increase this value by rotating one of those gold knobs one knob is to increase decrease the voltage and the other one to increase or decrease amperage so let's try this one my head is shaking i don't want to make any short circuit but if i will do then we'll have some fireworks and now as you can see now you can see by rotating this knob i can increase the voltage or decrease it so when i rotate it clockwise i decrease in the voltage yep now we've got like 35 volts so now let's try to set it to around 41 volts like i always saying don't charge maximally your battery because it will extend lifespan so if maximum voltage output on the power supply for Xiaomi M365 is 42 volts then I recommend something around 41 volts or 40 volts but now is a little bit trickier if you would like to set amperage output so how fast you will charge your battery then you have connect some load on the output in my case I will start to charge my Xiaomi battery so let's do it and I'm charging with 1.75 amps wait a second stock charger is 1.7 amps so yeah as you can see my pd charger is even more powerful than the stock xiaomi charger nice okay so to set the amperage for the output we have to rotate second knob so this one from the side so let's decrease the amperage we have to rotated clockwise and as you can see amperage is dropping so we can go as low as you want even i think it would it could be zero amps so now let's go back 
to higher amperage, so we have to rotate it counterclockwise. Yep, and the amperage is rising as you can see. I wouldn't exceed something around 1.75 amps. We can try even 1.8 maybe. Yeah, but I think this is overkill for the charger because now we are charging at 68 watts as you can see. But PD charger, my one is rated to 65 watts. But I will go back to something like maybe 64 watts. Yep, something like this. Now you can ask why I lowered the wattage if you saw that my PD charger can go even 68 watts. Because my Xiaomi charger is rated to 65 watts and this is actually safe power output. So at that value the PD charger should not overheat and work for a long time. But I decided to even extend lifespan of PD charger and I set it to 64 volts. The same story if you will use 100 watts PD charger. If you will set to 95 watts, then it's small chance that you will overheat your charger and the lifespan of it will be much better. And you are just losing maybe like one minute of the whole battery charging because it's like, as you can see, 64 volts. Oh, it's exactly, it was like 64 yeah, and a half. But yeah, it's like maybe one minute longer for charge your scooter. But you can seriously extend lifespan of the charger and maybe even of the step up converter. Is it hot? Well, it's yeah, it's, it's getting actually pretty hot now. So we need to use this cooler. Yeah, it's it's kind of hot now. Shit. If you have any questions, just leave it in comment section. I'll be back to you and try to help. See you in next one, bros.